Hello there, and I'm back again with another product review. This one is not sponsored, as I did buy this myself. So, a little background, I do know that I ramble a bit if I'm not prompted, so that's why I use a teleprompter. Pointing at it here right now, you can't see it, but it's right there. Uh, to at least guide me, to keep me on track, but that's not what this video is about. It's about the space in which I use for making these videos, and the efficiency of setting up my recording process. You see, uh, to use a teleprompter, that I keep pointing at that you can't see, I need to use a tripod. And to use that tripod, I basically have two options. I can either leave it on the floor, which I'm pointing at a place that you can't see, but you'll see in a picture, or I can put it away, usually in that closet, again, something you can't see, and then take it out uh, and set it back up every time I record. I have purchased a desk mounted camera mount with auxiliary arm, just so that I can keep all my stuff in one location, have nothing I must drag out or have something that consumes my precious room space and floor space. And so, well, here we are. My review of this thing. The Juzmo, that sounds so weird, Camera Desk Mount Auxiliary Holding Arm. You know, the Chinese name it very weird, but it's by also the name here, VGIM. And you can also find it, well, what's the other name that it's under? Yulanzi. It's also, you can also find it under Yulanzi's name as well. So the model number for this is LS02 for the kit. There is also an LS01, which is just for the desk mount alone. And there's the LS03 for the auxiliary arm itself. So basically I'm saying is you can buy these independent, but I bought the whole kit, if you can see that. In the box, it comes with a desk mount, an auxiliary arm, and we're gonna call it arm from now on, I believe. An additional ball joint uh, with the quarter 20 mount for the desk mount, and a camera mount that you can attach to any quarter 20 connection. I have it on there, but I mean something like this. The main desk mount sits at 17.3 inches completely collapsed and 41.3 inches fully extended, giving you ample room for that overhead shot. Both the desk mounts and the auxiliary arm or arm, uh, have the quarter 20 ball joints at the ends uh, for those fast connections to most of the camera and lighting gear that you have or may have or may want to get. The arm can be installed anywhere on the lower two sections of the desk mount. And there are three sections. So the lower two can't fit that top one. The arm itself can support up to 2.2 pounds. Uh, that comes out to actually one kilogram. Uh, the desk mount will fit desk widths up to 1.9 inches. Uh, the arm can attach to pole diameters of 0.86 inches up to 1.1 inches. Uh, the third pole or shaft of the desk mount is actually a bit smaller than the 0.86, so it will not attach very well, unless you shim it. The phone mount will hold phones from 2.2 inches to 3.9 inches wide. Basically, pretty much everything that's out there right now. And lastly, the ball joint allows you to freely rotate your attached devices in 360 degrees, and while tilting up and down for those perfect shots. The Juzmo camera desk mount with auxiliary holding arm is on Amazon and I'll put the link down below. I am not sponsored, and this is not an affiliate link. I will get nothing from this, so have at it, enjoy, check it out. So how much is this beautiful device right here? Ah, uh, well, it's uh, $45.99 at the time of this recording. That's not bad, actually. So who's it for? Photographers, videographers, live streamers, gamers, and well, for anything in between where you need to mount to secure something that uses the quarter 20 style connection camera gear, lighting gear, that kind of stuff. All right, so let's talk what's good about it. So far for the limited amount of time that I've had this, maybe about two weeks now, it feels very solid and has a great clamp. But I will tell you that I actually went and looked at a lot of the one star reviews. You know, you gotta look at the one stars uh, to see what people really feel about it. And while there wasn't too many one star reviews, most of them were talking about the clamp that mounts to the desk. And I will tell you that I know that it's made of aluminum and if you tighten it too much or if you tighten it to where it expands and wants to tilt, meaning maybe a non-paralleled surface you're trying to attach to, you're gonna probably cause it to crack and fail. You don't need to tighten this too tight, to be honest. Another great thing about this that I can tell is, is uh, you can expand it or extend it to 43 inches. And man, that is very tall, especially off of a desk. You can adjust this to basically anything you see fit. And it worked great as one of those, you know, live stream cameras where you wanted to kind of shoot down at you and the desk, right? The arm has a great clamp on it. It's very solid. Just remember that when you're using the arm, nothing more than 2.2 pounds, right? You don't want to cause it to get damaged. The ball joints for both of them so far lock really solidly into position. They feel like they're of decent quality with this product. These guys lock right 
right in and hold it. Another thing I think I see with this is, is there are a lot of options that you can use this for. While it feels kind of limiting, limiting, it's got a lot of options. And if you do it right, like I do now, and I'm pointing at something you can't see, but you can mount this on a glass covered desk. Yes, I have one. You'll see a picture. What's not so good about it? Right now I can't pick out a whole lot, but basically let me go off of the reviews that I see uh, for the one and two stars. I am kind of concerned that the aluminum tabletop bracket that, that you use to attach the, the arm to, or the, the, the desk mount to, it may break in the near future. I'm not sure, but we'll see from there. There is some difficulty in the placement of the mount for that perfect location. And uh, what do I mean? I mean that, that to, to do like as an example this video I need to take all of this system and push it back right so that I can have the camera back far enough so that it does a good view of my uh, my setup here and me and, and get all my lighting set out just right but to do a tabletop down shot view I'm gonna have to take all of this and 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 not just demount it not necessarily but loosen it and bring it forward set it into a position so that it sits just over my desk over here so uh, in that case, it's it's slightly annoying. It's I mean, I'm being nitpicky, guys, but it's slightly annoying. I have to find that perfect position where I can put it or I'm going to have to move it each time when I'm trying to do these types of uh, video recording. Right now, I have the arm stuck out here with another camera um, that I haven't activated yet, but I could use. The auxiliary arm, uh, I said I would call it the arm, it only attaches to the bottom two sections of the, the three-section desk mount. Uh, the top section is just a little bit too small for this arm to fit. I think think that if you could have it adjusted, I would like to possibly have it sit on that higher extension if you could. You can't extend the auxiliary arm. Again, I said I would call it arm, uh, but it's understood why, right? Any further you go out, there's more force on it, the more you'll cause it to, to, to put force on the arm and, and possibly damage it. So, you know, having too much pressure on the desk mount and you could possibly break the clamp at the base. So I get it. Again, I'm nitpicking here because at this moment of just using this, I'm using it as we speak right now. I find it to be pretty good and pretty solid. Uh, I'm nitpicking picking on my what's not so good so far. My final thoughts. I mean, what a great tool for using for whatever you want to do with it. That's so vague, I know. But I mean is you can use it for a camera mount on your desk, kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, you could use it for a light mount to give you all that extra light, maybe for some type of live stream or something else you're doing. Uh, maybe even get you that prime key light, whatever. You can use it to do those product reviews from that top-down perspective, you know, looking down and, and and maybe you got a phone you want to show some specs and show some you know some features or something uh, which I will probably end up doing a little bit later uh, you can do that I mean so many uses but what I use it for I think is perfect for me I've, I've effectively been able to remove a tripod from the whole gamut of my video recording all of this is sitting and mounted to my desk I have released some floor space sounds dramatic but I've got extra floor space now that I can use in this room and I don't have to pack up bring out reset up readjust just do all kinds of things to no this stays here the entire time I can leave it here it is out of the way it is on the desk and it's in the footprint of the desk and now it takes no time to set up and do my recording and now I can leave this thing up all the time I have a teleprompter that takes no time to set up now I just need to turn on the tablet that I'm using uh, set up the script turn on the camera that's behind it and pointing at you yes mr. camera and then I start recording get my audio going I'm ready to go. While I have tried this for only a few short weeks, I feel that this will be part of my future in making videos, and it'll be crucial for it too. There are options to buy the individual components, uh, as I stated before on the box, as this one is a kit, uh, and to be honest, I really see myself buying a few more of these kits. Maybe the full kit itself, or maybe some of the individual items uh, independently. I will be getting more of these, I, I so far. I'm impressed with this. So in closing, you know, I'm great at rigging up things and, and making it work and, and putting things together and setting up and just making it work. But sometimes it's a little off and it's a little more cumbersome. But I'm going to say that in this case of using a teleprompter in conjunction with my camera, I can't really cut corners. I, I, eat, I, I need a tripod. I need something sturdy. I need something that will hold these things and be set up such a way that I can uh, make it adjustable for me to work. It is safe saved me a decent amount of space on my floor. It has also saved me time in efficiency aspects because now I don't have to set anything up other than the script and everything else. I don't have to get a tripod and move it back and forth and do all this setup. This thing's worth the money in my opinion. And I suggest that if you need to save some space in your office or your room area, then you need to get one of these now. You'll be happy 
you did. Thank you for hanging around and I really appreciate your time. Uh, if you like this and you want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button and as well hit that like button. And while you're there, go ahead and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload another video. And really, truly, thank you. Peace.